In this video, we will focus on how you can create and join different teams using Microsoft Teams. If you need a recap on how to access Microsoft Teams using your NHS email address, please click on the video suggestion at the top of the screen. Before you start to create a team, especially for large groups such as departments, it is worth asking your IT admin staff to create it for you. The reason for this is members of your team may be joining or leaving at various points in the year. IT admin staff can automate systems that will mean that when staff join or leave or may be moved to a new department to continue their specialist training, departmental leads will not need to manually invite or remove members, therefore improving your workflow and allowing you to concentrate on other important jobs. However, if you want to create your own team and update its members when needed, then follow the steps in this tutorial. Creating your own team groups is a valuable way to connect with others, especially if you have smaller working groups that you regularly or occasionally need to touch base with. This could be small teaching groups or providing a space for trainees to connect with each other or to keep in contact with others in and out of the organisation. To create your team, you need to visit the Teams tab on the left-hand navigation panel. Next click on the Join or Create Team link. Depending on the license that you have from Microsoft and the admin settings, you will most likely find it here or on the top right of the screen. If your admin staff have enabled your permissions to be able to create your own team, then you will see this option. However, if they haven't given you this option, you will only see the join a team with a code option. As the name suggests, once you have made a team or you are owner of a team you have created, you can share a code with specific individuals and they can then enter the code here. They will then automatically join the team as a member. We will see how you can do this in a moment. Since we are interested in creating our own team, click on the Create Team button. Depending on the type of Microsoft license you have and on the settings your IT admin staff have given you, the options of selecting a team type will more than likely be different to the ones displayed here. You will need to select the correct type of team you want to create depending on the options given to you. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will click on a professional learning community. You will then need to go through the setup wizard, which will ask you to name your team if you want to add a description for it, and you can set the privacy of the team so either anyone can join it or you can select individuals to join it as a private team. From here, you'll be asked to invite individuals to the team. If they are part of your organization's directory, just start typing their name and the suggested names from your organization's directory will appear. You can then just click on the correct name in the suggested list. However, it may be quicker to skip this step and to generate a code that you can share with the others. To do this, click Skip. Once you land on the team's homepage, or what Microsoft Teams calls the general channel. Click on the three dots and then click Manage Team and it will take you to this page. You will not see any members' names yet as we need to send a code. To do this, we need to click on the Settings tab. From here, you can change various permission settings to tailor it to your team members' needs. To generate the team code, click on Team Code and then click Generate, and this will create a code specially for your team. This can then be copied and pasted into an email, which you can then send to individuals you want to join your team. The individuals being invited will need to enter this code on the Teams Join page, which we saw earlier in this video. As others join, they will be automatically added as members. You can see who has joined by clicking on the Members tab.
If you want to change the role of any individual within the team, you can click on the down arrow next to the individual and choose the correct role for them. If you want to add someone from outside of the organisation, you can click the Add Member button here. Then you can type in their email address and then click Add. This will send an email invite with a link inside it for the receiver to click on. They will then be added to the team as a guest. Depending on your organisation settings, Individuals from outside of the organisation are likely to have restricted access and may not be able to use certain features of Microsoft Teams. It is worth checking with your IT admin staff what permissions they will get before inviting them to the team. Click on one of the options here to find out other ways you can use Microsoft Teams in the NHS.